Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Island Solo. I am Mr. Hiccup and we have a special treat today. I had a whole video of tracking this guy down. The video was absolutely horrible. This guy despawned on me twice. I had trouble finding him. I have flown all over the Redwoods like three times. I've slaughtered everything in the Redwoods. Was on my way back and just couldn't give up but I had 40 minutes worth of footage that was absolutely horrible so you guys didn't get to see all that but this is what we have and I finally was able to get him over here without him despawning her is level 84 not the best level ever but I did see this one in the woods a couple of times and it despawned on me so now we got this girl in the pen we are going to tame it you are about to be ours I have spent several hours now trying to get this thing over to the pen to tame it. I don't know what's going on with the Thylacats. They seem to be glitched out. I've had all kinds of problems. Well, you would believe this is the hardest time I've ever had trying to tame a Thylacat. And yeah. It, it's just Um, we have a couple things we're going to do besides uh, tame this girl up and you're out <laughs> what was that okay so first thing is I have already recorded this once but I want it I have to do it again because Is that you? I feel like something horrible is happening. Anyways, I've already filmed this once, but like I said, first footage, absolute garbage. Wasn't able to keep it. Um, so the the super spyglass um, works as a spyglass, works as a magnifying glass, and I like it better for one because the zoom on it. Um, I am starving, but hopefully we'll be able to get this done before I starve to death. But I'm not... With this, it doesn't black out the whole screen and just show you a little circle. You're actually able to see what's going on around you. That was one of the biggest reasons I love this. The second one is, as you can see right now, it's working as a spy glass. Or as a magnifying glass. So we can see exactly what the health is, we can see exactly what the torpor is, and we don't have to be as close as we do with the magnifying glass either. The third thing that's very important to know is this girl has 84 levels. One level um, is just for being in existence. You're going to find that I do believe if you add up all the numbers that I'm about to tell you about, you're going to get a total of 84 uh, 80, 83 to 84. I believe it's 83 because I think one's, one, one level doesn't count. But um, if you look down, you see a lightning bolt. That's going to be our um, stamina. Stamina is 900. We have 900 and 900 because it's not using any stamina right now. But if you look out beside that, you're going to see a 13 0. That 13 means that out of the 84 levels the random generator has put 13 levels into stamina um, we also have 18 levels into oxygen if you look two down not wonderful uh, but we also have 17 levels into melee if you look on the right hand side uh, middle one 85 percent 17 levels this girl should hit pretty hard uh, we also have eight levels into health, 
which is not great, but will work. Uh, so that's how the spyglass works. Um, and, and why that's important is... Um, can I get to your inventory, please? Um, I gotta go get food because I'm starving. Uh, but we need to throw these on you, and we need to push some. Let's push... I don't know, ten or so. That should keep you knocked out till we get back. And we're gonna run over here. We're gonna grab me some food. Um, I think. Do I have any any prime? I don't have any prime. I think we're just. Oh, I, I need to get some prime. I think. Um, Yeah, I need to get some food for myself, but I also need to get some prime. We need to tame this guy up with just prime meat. I'm not going to waste any kibble on a level 84. Um, just not going to happen. If it was level 100 or above, I would most definitely use kibble. But I'm not using kibble for this guy. Okay, refrigerator. Let's grab us some food. And don't have any prime there. It would be cooked prime. Let's just go. Let's go collect this up some prime. Get back over here. Get this guy tangled up. So the reason I was showing you the super spyglass and how it works is because it's going to become very important when it comes to taming. Because when we're out looking at Rexus, we're going to start looking. Okay, this Rex is a level 90. He's not a 100. He's not a 150. He's a level 90. But what levels has a random generator put all of his levels into normally it's spread out pretty evenly it's like an average it's not nothing you know crazy going on um i think i'll get some prime but every now and then a creature will randomly get a lot of those uh levels put into one category And that's when it's important for us to know that. Because if it's a Rex and say those levels get put into health or melee, even if, if it's a creature, you know, that's level 90, if 20, 30 points have gotten put into health or melee, that's very important because that animal's worth that that rex would be worth taming to um we're going to steal that guy's prime um that rex would be worth taming because we have all the levels yeah i got enough i think that do um will take whatever stat it is that got all those levels put into it and will breed it onto a offspring um, to get you know all those levels put on the offspring um, obviously if we can find a Rex that all those levels have been put into health and then we find another Rex that all those levels have put into melee, then that becomes important. And we don't have to have a level 150. Now, granted, the higher levels the better, because it is based on a percentage when you upgrade so for every upgrade the higher the level is and the higher the stat is the more you're going to get out of it um, it doesn't matter as much when the stat is already high because you're still going to get a lot out of each um, pump
as we get to taming, I, I will show you what I'm talking about. Um, but the the overall level of the creature is not as important as the the levels that's went in the stat. Is what I'm trying to say. Um, if we can get an increased stat on a creature that's a level 90, we're taming that level 90. Uh, we're still going to get a big bump out of it. It's going to be more than your average, your average level 150 that has, you know, 15, 20 uh, pumps in the health. It's not going to be as good as a level 90 that has 30 pumps in the health, if that makes sense. Um, because it's still done on a percentage but when you have 10 more pumps into something and we put that into an offspring at a lower level we have a whole lot more pumps that we can put into that at that percentage it's going to give us a better outcome um, I feel like I'm rambling like I'm losing you guys anyways um, we'll get into it I'll show you what I'm talking about uh, it's just it's really important to know most time you can't tell to after you tame something I know that the ones of you that's played understand how this works and that it's very important to see the stats and then you end up with you know a bunch of high level rexes that's just garbage because the stats weren't put in the right things uh, this is going to prevent that from happening basically is what I'm trying to say uh, we're going to be able to see before we tame it what levels it's it got put into so we can go up, look at a level 150 Rex that has all of its levels put into food and oxygen, and we're going to be like, nah, you know what? We don't need that guy. Um, we'll wait till our level 130 comes along that's got more levels in the health or melee, and let the 150 go that's got all of its stats put into oxygen and food, because that's not important at all. Not on a Rex. So, a lot of rambling to get back around to that point. But yes, that's why it's important. Uh, why I find it important. It, can you do, play the game without it? Absolutely. You can play the game without any of these mods. I just happen to like this one. And I wanted to show you guys how it would benefit you. Hmm. <sighs> Excuse me, it's been a long day. Uh, like I said, I have been messing around in the Redwoods all day day um I might see if I can get the clip because I, I, I caught the uh, thylacat one time um I was flying through I didn't have the recording I was like oh there's a thylacat I've done a circle with a bird a tight circle as I cut the camera on to come back into it so I could show you guys as I come out of the circle the thylacat's on the tree. I kind of circle too far. I come back around to fly over to where it's at. The thylacat is gone. Nowhere to be found. And if I can capture that clip, I'll try to add it so everybody can see what I'm talking about. But that's been my luck. Um, I, I don't know why. But... Yeah, I was wanting to show you guys, you know, if you find a thylacat on a tree... The best thing to do is find you a place to post up. Take something that's not going to do a whole lot of damage. You shoot the thylacat. The thylacat will then jump out of the tree and start after you. If you're on your RG, you simply put it up. You 45 it. By 45 it, I mean you fly at a 45 degree angle up or a 45 degree angle down till you get to your taming pin. When you get to your taming pin, you drop the thylacat in there. You knock it out like what we did. Not that big of a deal unless your thylacats keep despawning on you for some strange reason. Which is what was happening to me today. And I was, they wasn't respawning. When I finally find one, it's like, ooh, there's a thylacat. Ooh, the thylacat's gone. Um, but level 84 is the highest one I've seen all day. We ended up with the level 84. I'm happy with it. I'm satisfied. This is going to be a start. Um, yeah. I don't know if we'll find another one this series. I really don't. Um, hopefully we will. 
Uh, but this may be the only Thylacat we find because I'm not having much luck with them. Normally I'm able to find them everywhere. But this has been challenging. Okay, we're going to have to put some more narcotics on you. I'll just go ahead and throw about 20 on there. And we probably didn't need to, but that's okay. Looks like we're going to gain 41 levels out of this. We probably would have gained more if I had used kibble because we would have had the perfect tame but level 84 is just hard to justify using kibble on <laughs> I don't even know if we can make a saddle for this guy yet or not uh, let's look here um, We can. Okay. Cool. So, that's something we'll have to do. I'll go ahead and get ready to pick this guy up, fly him over the base. Um, also, um, I'm going to show you for any new players that may be out there uh, why Falcat is such a loved creature and why everybody always wants thylacats obviously the RG um, we've seen the benefits from it carries a lot of weight stamina is good on it it's a good fighter it's not fast it's uh, slow as everything uh, but obviously when it comes to moving creatures moving weight you're not gonna beat the RG it's one of the top flyers you have to have it it's tanky um, so, you're going to get a lot of the same benefits from the Thylacat. Um, it's tanky, it carries a lot of weight, great fighter. Um, but I'm going to show you what else to do. This combination right here, right here. Thalacat, RG, you fly around with it, there's just about nothing that you, well, here, let's go look. We're just going to go over here. And we're just going to just destroy all this stuff here. That is the power of an RG and a Thalakat. I probably got stuff in my base going nuts right now, but... See, no levels pumped into this guy yet. Okay. And he's already hitting for 299. So, yeah, just for an example of how good these two creatures are together, I mean, you could really take some stuff on with them. I just whistled everything passive. Amazing. Okay, so we're glad to get everything sorted out in our base here. I think the only thing that moved is uh, probably our Theros. So, yeah. Okay. Well, let's go in here. Because I need to make some saddles. And I need to make... Thero saddles. We're going to craft three of those. So let's pull the resources for that. Craft. Um... Go back into saddles, and we got a Thalakat. We only need one of those. 
pull the resources. Pull. Okay, why are you not wanting to pull? There we go. Alright, we'll get rid of that. We need that, that. Oh, well, hold on. That, 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 that. Okay. Now. Let's go. Why am I hot? Saddle on you. Kibble, Big Bird, you're male, right? You are. So you will go in the middle. Put a saddle on you. Okay. So we'll go put Big Bird in the center. May have done this kind of backwards. And let's get a saddle on you. Awesome. Get you put over here on the other side. Now. Which one to use the highest level? You're 18. You're 53. Let's take Kibble out. I want to show you what uh, the Theros are good for real quick. Since we just were able to get saddles on them. Because we have a couple different attacks here. Um, this is C attack. And it's really good for gathering berries. As you see, it will encumber you very quickly. So, there's that. Okay. Now, we're going to do the right attack. And as you can see, filled up with wood instantly. Great for gathering wood. And look at all that. Um, of course, leveled up ones. This is the uh, this is the right click attack here. This is the tickle attack. I think I said right click attack while ago. That was left click. This is left click. This is right click. Right click is great for gathering fiber and thatch. Left clicks good for gathering wood. And then your C attack will gather berries. Um, they're also amazing fighters. We're just gonna go, gonna go over here and pick on this carno real quick. harvest so amazing creatures uh, we will be taming higher level ones to potentially look at going into a boss fight they are boss fight worthy so we will have several more Theros before it's over with now for the Thalacat let's get a saddle put on this guy And that's what Thalos are good for. So pretty much, you can roam around anywhere you want to on the map with these guys. Um, like I said, they carry a lot of weight. They're good fighters. And as long as you don't jump like real far off, 
of a cliff or anything, they take pretty much no fall damage. Now, if you go up to a cliff and you jump way out like this, then yeah, they're going to take some fall damage, but, um... Let me put these guys anywhere. They're amazing. I love these guys. Um... But yeah, uh, all it is is you hit jump, you hold jump, and they will climb up a cliff facing. Like I said, 299 right out of the gate. I mean, outstanding. Um, I don't know how we don't have a level up on this guy yet. It's a little odd. Let's look at our stats here. Um, 3,000 health, not bad. 1,000 stamina is pretty good. Weight is okay. Melee is outstanding. See, this is where those 17 points in melee come in handy. Uh, so. Um, this will probably turn into one of my primary mounts. Uh, that way we can ride around and kind of see what's going on. I love these guys. Uh, they're pretty fast. Like I said, they're pretty tanky. When we get ready to tame some high level Rexes, this will definitely be what we ride to do that with. I'm not seeing much up here. Pick a fight with this guy. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Sabretooth, we'll pick a fight with him. He didn't really want any. He just thought he did. Another Sabretooth. Save a Dodicarus. Finally got that level up. We should get several level ups out of this guy before it's over with. Hmm. Was not expecting to come out on the Redwoods. Well, we'll take this guy back over towards base. Like I said, I absolutely love these guys. Um, well, you saw the power of the Thera a while ago, right? This one's hitting pretty hard. He's probably pretty high level. 56. No problem. Get some weight off this guy. We're just going to take this. We'll take this. And I don't think we need any of the rest of this stuff. So we'll just drop that. Throw some meat back on this guy. Keep rolling. Mr. Thero. 16. Really need to start paying attention to what level of stuff I'm fighting here. Now these beer drinkers, I don't really care for them that much at all, so um, it doesn't matter what level they are. But I don't want to kill a high level Thero because we, we're we ready to tame one. Um, as soon as we find a high level one, we're ready to tame it. Um, another good thing about riding around on these Thalacats is we're able to clear out areas as we go. So if we're not getting the dinos that we want, as we ride the Thero through there, we'll just clear it out. So, anything dangerous hanging out back here? Let's go ahead and get this while we're here. Got some more flowers, that's awesome. And we're 
back. So hopefully we Wow, that was a huge jump in health. Okay. Um hopefully we will be able to find us another high level male thylacat because this guy's this girl's awesome uh, absolutely amazing but um, when you're able to breed them and get the imprint and the increased stats on them they truly are super dinos uh, I mean you can really take on the island with just one of these um, one of these guys one of these guys you have about everything you need uh, except for the water which we need to start thinking about now now we have all of our land dinos um, we're ready to start roaming around trying to find our super high level ones we really need to start thinking about maybe getting into the water, getting some better loot, and moving forward from there. Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I hope you learned some. I um, hope you ignored my rambling that I went on there for a little while. Um, don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, also down in the description below... Um, you can find a link to my Patreon. Um, any support would be appreciated. Go check that out. Um, see what's going on over there. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.